Thank you so much for being here. My update for Cat Leo Rex within the Care Collab initiative together with Matt by Nature, Tokyo World Mark, and Todd's Tropicals. Well, as you can see, <laughs> we are having issues still with the pests from a Cat Leo Rex that I got as one plant and as per usual, they divide it into two. And yes, I have a pest problem going on, which now that we're out and about, I'm gonna take care of immediately. Really, this is like the first one that I've seen in a month, two months. Clearly now I've got a nice new growth growing and they all want to be a part of it. I have been extremely, extremely cautious by checking these all the time because I've had other scale issues with other orchids living in a similar area. And I don't want that to perpetuate to my Rex because Finally, as you can see, this one is starting to grow roots. And I would like it to stay that way. They're already going down into the pot. I have to mist a lot at the moment. I have super high temperatures, which would not be such a big deal, but I have super strong winds accompanying those temperatures. And for me, as far as I'm concerned, there's a lot of maintenance at this point with these Rex pieces because clearly they're not strong. You can see how desiccated the back pseudobulbs are. Paper, paper thin. It's ride or die now. This growth has to make it. The roots have to make it. Otherwise, it is history. Same as with its compadre right here. I don't have any roots coming out of the growth just yet, but I'm hoping that they won't be far away. Based on the size of the other one, this one is the similar size. Super desiccated pseudobulbs, same story. So what I'm doing with these pots, clearly no roots in the pot, I have the reservoir much, much higher with water and the pot itself you can, when you put the pot into the reservoir, you can literally feel the pot sink and rest on that water just to up the humidity even more, as opposed to me just misting and misting and misting. There's a real danger between the balance now of the misting that I have to do and making sure that I don't rot the new growth. So a lot of misting happens around the edge and I'm hoping that the water will feed its way across the leka. At this point in time, I am babying them because as I mentioned before, at any given moment, it is their last hurrah and they can both fail. Not just the new growths, but afterwards there is no more energy in none of these pseudobulbs to do anything of substance as in creating another growth. So very, very, very touchy moment for me at this time. I have had these orchids since 2018. They have never done well for me. I am not sure if I have underlying issues. People may say that it is the setup. I would agree if I could see other cattleyas with similar attributes fail in my Lekka and self-watering setup, and they're not failing. Now we can say, discuss the species. Cattleya rex is different. There are certain characteristics that will not be happy with regards to self-watering Lekka. And then I would say, yes, Fully agree, that is the case, no dispute there. But these are seedlings. They need a lot more water, a lot more humidity than, let's say, a mature Cattleya Rex. And until I don't have a mature Cattleya in my collection, I cannot make that decision whether it is my setup that is making the orchid fail or the attributes of the orchid itself doesn't like my setup. In the meantime, I'm doing exactly what I'm doing with other Cattleya seedlings that I have that are doing really, really well in Lekka and self-watering. And I am just keeping them clean, keeping them misted. There's the occasional seaweed going in and the CalMag, 60 parts per million of calcium magnesium, 40 parts per million of kelp max at 6.3 pH. I do that with this one now 
once a week with this one almost every day. Seeing as I have new arrivals, I always have a batch every morning of my seaweed concoction. So this one gets it every day. No roots have grown yet. This one gets it now once a week because the roots have grown and I don't want the roots to stop. So my Cattleya rexes so far have been a ride. They have been through a lot with regards to failing. They have also been treated with copper, as you can see. Because this order turns out it had a Fusarium infected orchid in it. And then I wonder if in the box something happened and it spread to these guys as well, because I've already lost other orchids due to Fusarium from the same order, from the same box. So a copper fungicide went in. It is a growth prohibitor if you put in too much, and I did. I didn't hold back on my copper. All these factors are right now playing a part with how my Cattleya rex seedlings are performing or not performing as we can clearly see. I have high hopes for the piece on the left. I am a little bit dubious about the piece on the right unless I see some root growth. But for now, it is babying, babying, babying. And I hope that there is gonna be another update with me included with a lot more progress as opposed to me opting out of this care collab because these two have not made it. Fingers crossed. Do you find yourself sometimes having to sleep on a subject overnight because you can't quite figure out what it is you are not getting. What isn't clicking in your head? Do you find yourself sometimes also in a rut where you say you keep going and doing the same thing and then you think, well, that is because, for example, in semi-hydro self-watering inorganic media, pot size doesn't matter, but Pot size might matter in this case because I keep talking about I have to miss the surface of my pot and I could risk the new growths. And how can I go about not risking the new growths when it's getting into August now? And while I was editing the previous clips, I just thought, change it. Seedling cup, very, very small lecker, which I picked out from my small lecker. One is going to become ICU. The other one is going into a seedling setup the way I have my other Cattleyas. And why I never thought of this before, I cannot tell you. With the exception that you get into a rut, you start thinking about this works, this works, this has worked before. And then you just keep doing the same thing with the orchid and expect a different result. Well, I am happy to say that I have clicked and I'm not going to do this anymore. And I'm going to give them a completely different setup and start them from scratch, which I hope works. So suddenly the video is longer, but I think it's best to take you along because as it is an update and you can see clearly my Rexes are not happy. I'm changing this on this video so that hopefully I will have Rexes to show for in a couple of months. This is very simple, very straightforward. There's nothing here that this orchid can work with except maybe this one little root here. And into rescue mode she goes. And I will stop having to keep misting. Fill up with beautiful, nice, plain RO water just to raise the humidity level. And the other thing I always thought of was, why am I so pedantic about these Rexes? And why didn't I change all this before? And that is because I was still in the mindset of how I grow them when I receive them, as opposed to what they're dealing with now. And I am so glad that I came to this conclusion last night, instead of grabbing myself some Zs, I was thinking about my Rexes. And I think I may just get away with it. This is making me feel a lot better than umming and eyeing about why is this not working. If it's not working, change it. This one, as it has roots, is gonna go into a seedling cup with very small leca, which I hope will give it everything it needs just like my other Cattleya seedlings. Goodness me, sometimes stubbornness can get in your way. 
sometimes mind blocks can get in your way. I'm glad that I had like a light bulb moment while I was editing the other clip. And I thought, what are you doing? And I thought, what are you not doing? So this is the conclusion I came to. And I'm quite happy to say I feel positive about it. We're going to give these roots a chance. And that makes me feel so much better than trying to doctor them over with misting and misting and being cautious and being concerned, all that stuff. Okay, so I positioned the orchid already with the tie, secured her to the support at the height that I want her because this is now just a question of filling up the lecker. This feels as though I'm going backwards, but this feels much, much better than the feeling I had before when they were potted up in the setup that I had prior. I am now going backwards. I am taking it all the way back to the start, like I would do with any kind of seedling that I get in. Small lecker, small cup. I had to erase what I was thinking when they arrived in my collection and how I dealt with them based on the thought when they first came to my collection. And for some reason, when I edited the previous clip, it clicked in my head and I said, what are you doing? So let's get some of that plain RO water into the reservoir. And I have a feeling, I feel good about this now. This now makes sense to me. And now I do believe that I will be participating in the next Catlia Rex update even if one piece doesn't make it, I'm confident now that this will make it. We have a root somewhere over here, unless I buried it, but the root tip was alive, doing well, and now it's in the right environment for it to thrive. This piece, I am confident, will make it. So fingers crossed. Yeah, sometimes you get into a rut, and one thing I have noticed about this video making process that while editing, other thoughts come to mind, seeing what I'm doing on camera and hearing my own words. And that's why I'm pedaling back fast during this update. And as mentioned before, I now do feel confident about these two pieces. I'm not so sure how this video is going to come across. Let me know in your comments below. Do you actually sometimes find yourself in a rut as well and you can't get out of your own little orchid growing hamster wheel? And when you then do make a change because it clicked in your head, do you feel more confident afterwards for having done it? And that feeling gives you the assurance that everything is going to be okay. Okay, let me know in the comments below because that is exactly how I'm feeling right now. A new day, a new start for my Catlia Rex seedlings. Really appreciate your time. Thank you so much to Matt by Nature, Tokyo World Mark and Todd's Tropicals for joining in on this care collab. I look forward to seeing what their Rexes are doing and I look forward to seeing what mine will do from here on in as well. The links of their videos will be in the description below. Have yourselves a wonderful day before I get blown away here and my Rex keeps tipping over. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Stay safe and take care. Bye.